I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to this question on set theory. I have taken up question number three from IITJ test paper. Now, before answering this question, we need to understand few concepts, and for that, I have taken question number one and two. We'll try to figure out how many subsets can we make from a given set. Question number one. Set A has three elements. Find the number of subsets of A. Choices are 3, 6, 8, and 9. Question number 2. Set B has four, four elements. Find the number of subsets of B, each having at least two elements. So we are given a condition here, right? And question number 3 here is, let A and B be two sets containing four and two elements respectively. Then the number of subsets of A cross B each having at least three elements is what? Four choices are given to you. I like you to pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now let's begin with the concepts. Question number one, set A has three elements, right? So let us say the three elements are, uh, let's keep the elements kind of like this. So these are the three elements which set A has. We need to form the number of subsets. How do we do so? So one of the set will be where we do not have any elements. Correct? The next will be where we'll have one element right so any one of them so for example if i say the elements are x y and z so so it could be x it could be y it could be z so one each correct or it could have a combination of two right so so it could be x and y it could be x and z right it could be y and z so those could be the combinations when we take two at a time right so we get one two three four five six seven and one of course we can take all three of them right so these are the combinations since order does not matter so we definitely get the answer is eight Now, one way to find solution is like I did. Now, that takes huge amount of time. Correct. The other way is to think about it like this. I could take X or I may not take. I may take Y or I may not take Y. I may take Z or I may not take Z. Right. So, that means for each element, I have two choices. And we have three elements. So, 2 to the power of 3 gives us 8. So that is a faster approach. So from here, what we learn is that if we have n elements, then 2 to the power of n is total number of subsets is that clear now this is a very very important statement to remember so we got the first one let's go to question number two now set b has four elements find the number of subsets of b each having at least two elements. Now this time we are giving a condition. The condition is at least two elements. That means we, we should take away those which have no element or which have one element. Correct? So one thing is very clear. Since we have four elements, so total is how much? Total is going to be 2 to the power of 4, which is 16. Correct? What 
is not allowed is the ones which are with one element right or and which is with no element at all correct so how many sets can you form which have no element so you could also use the combination right so what we have to take away from here is that out of these four we are taking the one which has no element so we can say with this four 4C0 gives you that combination, correct? And we also do not want those which have only one element, right? 4. So that means we do not want one which is empty set and we do not want one which has either, let's say, 1, 2, 3, and 4. You get my point. We are just assuming that the four elements are the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4, right? So let's say that is the set given to us, correct? So we don't want null set and we do not want the sets which have only one element, which could also be written as 4C1, null set as 4C0. So we have to take away one and we have to take away these four. So when you take away five from 16, what are you left with? We are left with 11 and therefore option C is the right option. You get the idea. Perfect. So with this, we have introduced you to the combination. So that is very helpful to work with. So when you are preparing for IIT JE, I think you should refresh the information which you have about the combinations, right? and the permutation rules which we are learning as we go along. Now let's look into the third question which is the real question to answer. Let A and B be two sets containing four and two elements. So what we are given here is number of elements in A is four and number of elements in B is two, right? So A and B be two sets containing four and two elements respectively. Then the number of elements in A cross B. So when I say A cross B, in that case, the number of elements will be in A cross B equal to four times two, which is eight. So now we are working with eight elements, correct? Second half of this question is, then the number of subsets of A cross B, each having at least three elements, is how much? Correct? Each having at least three elements. So we have eight in all. So in this case, what is the total? So total in this case is two to the power of eight, which is how much? Which is 256, correct? 2 to the power of 8, you could also calculate. So 2 to the power of 8 is equal to 256. So from 256, we have to take away those which have no element. That is to say, from 8, we have to take away those which have no element. From 8, we have to take away those which have one element. And we have to take away those which have two elements. Now these, which have no element, is just 1, and this is 8, and which have 2 elements is 8 times two, uh, 7 divided by 2 times 1, correct? Uh, which is, uh, this goes 4 times 28. So that makes it 28 and 1, 29, and take away... Okay, so it's minus 37. Let me write this as minus 37. And then we'll fi find the answer. Okay, let me write down the answer. So that gives us 219. So that is how you get option A as the correct option for question number 3. Well, from the choices given, as soon as you found that 2 to the power of 8 is 256, and we have to take away something, you knew that the answer should be 219. Perfect. And that is how you can confirm that the, the answer really is 219. 
So from all the possible combinations, which are 256, you have to take away the ones which is a null set, then set with one element only, eight of them, and with two elements each. Eight times two divided by two times one, 28. Add them all, take away from 256 to get your answer. So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you really like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.